KOR to Sports here with Abner Maris, the manager of uh, Misael Rodriguez. Uh, tell us about that man. You're, you're on the different side of the, the rings this time. T tell us what the managerial aspect of, uh, of managing a fighter is well, like. Well, first of all, I think I should have brought one of your hats, the way you're wearing it. <laughs> would have looked more, more like a manager type. Especially in boxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? 1920. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm really happy and excited to be managing one of the um, top prospects coming from uh, the amateurs, Misael Chino Rodriguez, a fighter whom um, you might re remember, he's an uh, ex-Olympian 2016 from Mexico who captured a bronze medal. So this is a, a guy who brought a bronze medal to Mexico uh, since, wow, it's been a long time. 16 years. 16 years, exactly. That, that long, 16 years. So I'm really excited for Misael uh, to be working with him. He's a great kid, great humble. He's uh, likable. And uh, he's fighting April 9th. He's going to debut April 9th at the Noble Club. Uh, like I said, um, great weight, cl uh, weight class he's in. Um, great uh, fighter. Right now, he's going to be fighting a middleweight. Uh, so we're um, we're we're full, well. He's going to fight at, at 157, 158, but eventually we'll drop him to uh, 54, 55. A fighter that uh, we expect a lot from. You know, he's a, he's a puncher. He's aggressive, and uh, he's exciting. Yeah. How did that marriage happen? I mean, the, did you know him personally before that? How, how did that happen? Look, uh, long story short, uh, make it short, uh, they came before the Olympics. They went to uh, a, um, a world tournament whom I helped financially because they didn't have anything. Uh, talking about the Mexican Olympian, I helped them get to the Olympics. Uh, the world tournament, I uh, forgot where it was, prior to the Olympics. And um, they stayed at my house a couple of days, a few of the fighters actually. And uh, what I liked about this kid is that he told me, Abner, I'm not one of the, uh, I'm not the most talented fighter in this group going to the Olympics, but I, but I'll tell you this much, I'm going to bring a medal because I'm hungry. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm determined and I'm ready to, to prove the people that uh, there's something in me. And look, look at him, we did it. So I'm excited about that. Tell us about you, brother. So what's, what's going on with you? You know, you had the, the terrific performance with Cuellar last year. Got a, had a nice little break. Obviously, you haven't fought or anything yeah. like that. You know what I mean? So what's, what's going on, brother? When, when can we see you in the ring again? Um, you know what? Really good news. Uh, I got a phone call by my manager this past weekend. Really good names. Uh, really good fire. It's working, man. It seems juicy. So, yeah. It's, uh, I'll tell you this much. You know, you're, we're looking at unification bouts. So, we, we, we're looking at good fights. Uh, so, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to be coming back, you know, with those fights. Like I said, I don't... I think I'm, 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 I'm a little... I'm done. No disrespect, disrespect with the uh, tuna fights, with the get ready fights. You know, I'm in the time of, in position of my career where I have to pick the best fights. And in this time in my career, you know, those are the best fights. So, so I just... Uh, I'm not going to mention names just by saying unification I think that's uh, that says it a lot all right so you're saying you said unification that's obviously people are going to be excited about that for sure there's obviously Santa Cruz the rematch would be would be amazing especially here in LA the Lee Selby I want to say Oscar Valdez um, so I'm not gonna press you too hard obviously you can't you can't talk about it too much but I mean are we looking at basically kind of the, these top tier guys or one of those guys I mean whoever holds the title we're looking at unification belt so um, I'm excited about that um, you know it's just a great time in my career coming back with that win great win against Quayer capturing a world title and now uh, focusing on big fights but um, don't mean to cut you off there but or change the subject but I think there, it is really important to keep pushing on my, on my fighter that I have Misael Rodriguez a great fighter whom I'm, I'm really excited to be working with my only fighter at the moment and uh, I'm telling you man do not miss this fight it's gonna be on Fox Sports 1 Fox Deportes in Spanish and if you live in, in the LA area come to the Noble Club which a lot of people were like Noble Club it used to be the Nokia Club back then in LA life so that's where the play the, I remember fighting there in my starting career so uh, it, it's it seems and it, it excites me to see now one of my fighters there and lastly, uh, I want to get your take on uh, Canelo versus Chavez. Obviously, a big fight uh, coming up in, in May. What are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on kind of the weight issue? Canelo willing to go all the way up to 164 and a half. What are your kind of thoughts on it? Well, don't let that fool you. I mean, Canelo moving up. I mean, we all know that he's always been up there. You know, when he fights these sm smaller guys, he's always the one that, boom, you know. Um, uh, hydrates really big so um, he's always been that heavy that big of a fighter so uh, I'm not saying that Chavez is the bigger man I think they're about the same uh, Chavez might have a slight uh, advantage in the uh, height 
uh, distance and maybe a little bit uh, of uh, power. But um, I think that's where it, it kind of balances. But uh, I think I think Canelo has the talent, and it's going to be a great fight. Catch Misael Rodriguez, April 9th, FS1, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I'm sure Abner will be in the house, takes pictures with everybody, signs everything. So uh, come, meet, come meet your man, Abner. Thank you so much for the time, brother. Appreciate it. Best of luck. Future manager of the year right here. <laughs>